You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> Just a history. Um, I do not usually get a lot of um, hate comments. I barely do. And I think that, you know, that's a good thing. Usually when I do get a hate comment, it's because um, the person I'm interviewing, you know, got this hate comment this morning and um, <laughs> it's a fun one. So the comment is as says, you and Allison are both completely talented tools. Um, and a dot near the end, like, boom, that's it. Fuck you. <laughs> so you go to the channel, rare horror, no c content. Okay, cool. So usually I just check their YouTube page whenever I get a hate comment because I'm just interested in what these people do. Not surprisingly, no content and no uh, subscribers, which just isn't surprising at all. And then I, I actually wanted to post about this on my Instagram story. So what I did, I posted a um, comment on my... Uh, on my Instagram story and I tagged Horrorhead because I was like, this is just hilarious. Come on, how can you not laugh at this? Talented tools? <laughs> I put up I Am Hated by Slipknot um, on the story and I, I just wrote, get off your high horse and return to the circus clown. Then I found out he's also on Instagram so I had to do another story and I was like, thanks a lot at Rare Horror for the kind words. I tagged him, of course. Um, but then I realize he's not active on there anymore. That shows a lot of talent, you know, giving up on uh, an Instagram page. That's not the end of it, because I found this um, article on Pajiba.com, which is um, absolutely ridiculous. It's insane. It's so it's such a long article. Um, I, I read it all for myself, but I'll be like skimming through it now for you guys so you guys can get the, um, you know, the gist of it. But basically... This battle broke out on, on Twitter. Twitter, of course. So what had Rare Horror been doing on Twitter? They got all of this... Like, there's an article written about him in a negative way. Well, he um, reposted this picture uh, on, on his Twitter page. It's basically an art piece from uh, Samara from The Ring that was being sold on Etsy. And um, he decided to post about it on his Twitter page but didn't credit the artist. So a lot of people called him out for that in the comments, you know, saying like, don't fucking steal art if you refuse to credit the artist. Make shit yourself if you can't slash won't give credit where it's due. What the fuck? So you're, you're telling me that he is taking advantage of other people's creativity by reposting their art and not even giving them credit. I mean, reposting someone else's shit is one thing, but not crediting them is a whole other story. And then I look further into Rare Horror's history, and apparently he's just, that's just their account. That's all there is to it. It's just an account that posts other people's arts from Etsy. And so let's, <laughs> let's just continue reading this article. So Rare Horror, um, very professionally, and kindly responded to that critical comment stating, you're the reason we mostly ignore our comments. You're dumb as a brick. We have 96,000 followers and you have 111 for a reason. Well, buddy, I want to tell you something here. I have 2,000 subscribers as of today on YouTube. You have zero. I have over 1,000 followers on Instagram. You have 600. You also follow over 6,000 people. And only 800 of those people followed you back? That's sad, buddy. So you are one to call out people for their following because you are commenting hate comments while I have more subscribers. Usually I don't value subscriptions because it's all about the person. If someone only has like 50 followers and he's a great person, I'm not going to call him out for that because there's no reason to. Um, you, however, definitely deserve to be called out for your uh, amount of followers because you're calling out other people. For the amount of followers and then post hate comments on someone who has more followers than you. You're a fucking hypocrite, rare horror. God damn, I hope he's he's watching this video. Um, which if you are. So Jason Bailey tweeted, 220 of you follow this piece of shit account and um you shouldn't. Which I completely agree with. So Keddy said, guys, credit the shop artist. And Rare Horror said, We intentionally don't because it makes a tweet look like an advertisement. And people are less interested. It's easy to research for and find the stuff we share. Which 
uh, well, Lauren says it all. He says, that's some fucking bullshit. Credit the artist, which is so true because it's just like, what? what? If you, what? Just credit the artist. How hard can it be? Less people will be interested if you'd put a link there, which I think there's some truth to that. Um, however, it's still not okay to just repost other people's art that they're trying to sell and not credit them. I was at a loss for words when I read this. There's an article about this guy and he's calling me out. <laughs> it's a very negative article though. <laughs> and, then, and then Rare Horror said, how about we no longer share anything on Etsy instead? Huh? How about that, huh? <laughs> like anyone even cares about them sharing shit from Etsy. <laughs> We're providing free advertising to them. Anyone who has half a brain can search for and find the stuff we share from them. Which, you can find the stuff you share from them, but... Um, I think a lot more people will be willing to buy it if there was a link so they could just simply click the link instead of scroll through 13 fucking Etsy pages with cupcake fillers from the ring. So, just put the link there. We don't make a profit doing this. We do it for fun. So, if you don't like it, please fuck off. Which is also very hypocritical because I am doing YouTube for fun as well. I make a little bit of money out of merchandising. That's teespring.com slash store slash slash or pepper. Please check it out. Buy some of my shit like this. But yeah, I do my YouTube for free for the most part as well. And you didn't like it and you decided to comment on it instead of just simply fucking off. <laughs> and actually, there's another argument against them. <laughs> they are getting money from this because you can pay them $25 for two custom tweets on a highly popular in Twitter account. And for $80, you can get two tweets and a pinned tweet on top of our profile page for a one week period, which is just a fucking awful deal. <laughs> so the incident kind of drew attention from other accounts like Dread Central. He basically tweeted out the same art piece uh, with a link to, <laughs> to the listing, you know, the way you should tweet that shit. He said, uh, this is a fantastic piece of art by Claire Mc McDougall. I think that's the way to pronounce it. Uh, make sure to check out her Etsy page for other ghoulishly blue... Beautiful. No, beautiful products. And then just the Etsy link. It's as simple as that. Does it look like an advertisement? Not to me. And um, it sure as hell looks better than um, than if there weren't, wasn't any credit. And apparently everyone agrees, <laughs> except for Rare Horror. It really upset Rare Horror that um, Dread Central tweeted that. Because Crotchy Oldman tweeted out, At Dread Central did it right. Wonder how much it cost them. And Dread Central simply replied, a smile. That's all. So, Dread Central, you just warmed my heart with that fucking tweet, man. Holy shit. <laughs> then Rare Horror was the death of the party again. Because uh, it was kind of getting on a bright side here. But then he was like, yeah, and stole our content ID. Their post got a fraction of the likes our, ours did. So which one do you think benefited the artist more? Well, maybe maybe Dread Central's tweet didn't benefit the artist more, but Dread Central certainly is a more popular source for horror content now than you are, Rare Horror, so maybe it's better to less benefit the artist and be nice than benefit the artist more and be an asshole. So actually, Rare Horror reached out to... Uh, uh, the the original artist that he didn't credit and uh, basically he said if you could tweet and tell the world you don't hate me that would be helpful that is just so low can you imagine being at that low of a point in your life where you need to reach out to someone in that way <laughs> wow wow that's just absolutely despicable so sad man <laughs> And then Rare Horror finally got his shit together and actually apologized to us. I'm just kidding. He tweeted out, for all the idiots complaining about us stealing this artist's work, fuck you. <laughs> so Rare Horror basically reached out in DMs to the original artist again saying, you have not done us any favors. We'll never share another post of yours. We do this for fun. All you have done is cause us a lot of hate and grief. You cost us about a thousand followers today because you tweeted about your art for free. Isn't that supposed to be because we tweeted out your art for free? We did not make a dime from this. 
So thanks for fucking us in the ass for doing a kind deed. <laughs> oh man. That is so funny, man. That is so funny. This I woke up this morning and saw that I had 2000 subscribers and I was like, "Holy shit, yes." And then um I I I was looking through the comments again and found out uh, I had a comment, but it couldn't ruin my day anymore, so I left my ass off then. But I'm when I saw this article, I was like, I have to make a video about it now. <laughs> Then Brad Horder tweeted out, my last words on this topic, I've been working in marketing a long time. I know what works on Twitter and what doesn't, including a link lowers the chances of the post going viral because it looks like an ad that doesn't help the artist. It's not hard to search Etsy. The fact that Dread Central pretending to be heroes stole RD and got half as many likes supports this. But I guess it didn't work that you didn't put a link there because Dread Central is still going strong and your account is done. <laughs> Boom. That's right. They quit their <laughs> Twitter account. Yeah. It just goes to show you what a great place Twitter really is. It really does. So what do I hope to accomplish with this video? Well, I hope to spread awareness that um, you just need to start a YouTube channel if you're doubting it because of haters. Haters are often people like this that just have, have nothing compared to what you have. So if you are considering uh, making a horror YouTube channel or a metal YouTube channel or any channel for that matter, um, but hate comments are taking you aback, please just start a YouTube channel because if you're even going to get a hate, it's going to take so long before you do. But if you're going to get a hate, it's always people like this that just are idiots. And this guy has been canceled. <laughs> and now he's calling other people out because he's probably jealous or something. And that's so far, it's always been that case, or it's been just some random nobody that doesn't even create content and probably doesn't know anything about it. So if you are doubting, please just start. That's the message I wanted to spread with this video. And um, so I hope I've convinced someone to start a YouTube channel and I've turned negativity into positivity. Rare Horror, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video especially. Um, and um, of course, I hope you guys um, that do have a brain also <laughs> enjoyed the video and um, that's all I got to say. See you guys next time. See ya. SP for life. You're a piece of me.